Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. That's right, folks, we are fooling around, doing all the cool modded things in Foolcraft, and uh, I've been working on the base a little bit. We have a second floor. Woohoo! Not all done yet. Got need, need more quartz, and uh, so I've got the miner going, getting quartz. I've been replacing some of these uh, cobblestone uprights with the logs that, uh, that I want to use. And a few strategically placed uh, spruce blocks that are going to be for decoration and stuff. But uh, we're making progress, and we're going to have a nice, uh, nice modern-looking house. Um, I will say this: I've got regular glass plane, glass panes in places, and I have chiseled glass in some places. And the the chiseled glass does look nice, but it does a number on the FPS. Uh, let's take a look outside here real quick. Uh, of course, last episode we put our pig pen in with our uh, with our feeder so that we could um, um, have some pigs and stuff. Uh, but it's I mean, it's taking shape, right? It's looking good. Nice modern modern structure. We'll have a little little pedestal out here to kind of hold this thing up, which will be cool. Um, out of carrots, but we're doing good. We got, we got. I had to move this out one because the mobs would move in, would would crawl up here, and they would get in there, and a creeper blew it up, and so I had to move it. Um, <laughs> had pigs everywhere. It was crazy. But anyway, that's that. Uh, just wanted to show that off real quick. Wanted to show off uh, all of the cool things that are going on out here. Of course, uh, obviously more quartz. Uh, uh, but today, so last episode, we 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 worked on getting our plowman's lunch and. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's nice to have a full belly and full saturation, and uh, my nutritional stats are going up. Uh, you know, I had zero dairy and very little grain and very little vegetable, but because I'm eating this plowman's lunch, uh, my nutritional stats are going up, which means that we're going to stay nice and healthy and uh, and things are going to be good. But today, what I want to do is I want to try and automate this. Today, I want to get into uh, making it so that I don't have to craft these on my own because that's a process. The process. Um, so what are we going to do to do that? So I'm thinking, uh, I've been looking at different crafters, right? So there is the, uh, there's the Ender IO crafter, which is this one here, which is the one that we're using here for our, um, for our, our rubber production, our plastic production plant. Um, now I could do this, but there is like a ton of steps. There's, I, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Nine. I, I count something like twelve steps um, to be able to put together this lunch, this plowman's lunch, right? Um, and so to do that, you would have to have a different crafter for each process that you're trying to do, which we could totally do, and we could make it like a big assembly line, and it'd be great. But uh, we could also go with the crafters from our from RF tools because you can have a different number of uh, of recipes. In here, like this one can do up to eight. This one does four. Um, so we'd still have to have probably multiple machines, but at the same time, we wouldn't have to have as many machines, and it probably wouldn't be as as expensive uh, because this is just redstone torches. Uh, the next level is the level one with redstone torches and crafting tables, and the level two is the level one with. Or I'm sorry, the level three is the level two with. Crafting torches or cra crafting torches, crafting benches and, and redstone torches. So, either way I go, it's going to need power. So, power is going to become an issue. We're doing okay. Oh, no, we're not doing okay. Are we not doing okay? Are we not doing okay? Uh, because, oh, that because that's because that's filling. Um, so, we might have to get another, uh, we might have to get some more power in here, which we can totally do. If I take a. Slime ball. Uh, we need to get some stuff to move that over a little bit, right? So, tape. Yeah, we want tape. But that's just three pieces of paper and a slime ball. We'll be able to handle that, right? Uh, let's go in here. Papers in here. Yeah. One, two, three of those. Let's get some paper and some tape, or some paper and some slime ball, and make some tape. I should. Say. There we go. Packing tape. And we can go like this, so we don't break all these items out and drop them on the floor, because that would be a horrible, horrible thing to do. Go ahead and break that. Yeah. And then we'll put you, we'll move you over one. You there. We're going to need another, yep, one of you. That, yep. So that now works. So now I've got a place here for another, uh, another sterling generator, but we're going to have to probably set this thing up so that instead of just transferring the charcoal 
from one here from here to here the charcoal goes out on the item conduits and comes back in on the uh, on the sterling generator so i'll probably just put that put that together off camera because you guys have seen me build those before um but we do want to get uh we do want to get our self together get our stuff together so that we can start making a lot of these uh a lot of these crafters and so if i, I figure if i do two level threes um that should give us plenty of, well, actually two level twos would give us a level three. So yeah, so yeah, two level threes would give us all of the crafting recipes that we would need. Um, and so then we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to get those things set up. So what we need is a, a level one. So we're gonna need, in order to get, uh, in order to get that, we're gonna need, so we wanna make two level twos, or three level, yeah, we're gonna wanna make two level twos to make a level three. So we're gonna need, yeah, so we're going to need a couple of machine frames. So let's get those. Uh, first things first, a machine frame is lapis, gold nuggets, and iron. Should have all of that. Uh, we're going to have to get that. And we're going to have to get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. And that should be enough gold nuggets, I think. Yep. Yeah, that should be plenty. And some lapis, which is over here. Lapis is over here, guys. Lapis is over here. I had problems with that before, and uh, and Lapis is over here, so yeah. All right, so we'll make you, you, and make two of those, perfect. And so now we just need a couple of crafting tables. It's, we're gonna need probably a stack of wood, I'm guessing, because we're gonna need a bunch of crafting tables. We're gonna need a stack of redstone. We don't have room for a stack of redstone. But that's okay, because we can get rid of you. Um, and actually, you don't even need another stack of wood, do I? Let's put a bunch of wood together, or put a bunch of wood away, because I had I had wood because I was trying to, to do all the things. So we'll get a stack of wood, we'll get a stack of redstone, we'll get some sticks. Get a stack of sticks. Uh, let's go ahead and make some redstone torches. One, two, three, four of you, and you give us redstone torches. Thank you very much. And that should, uh, we need to make some crafting tables. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, one, three, seven crafting tables. Let's go with uh, go with six for now. Craft you. Yep, two of you. Cool. Can we make you now? Don't have enough redstone torches. So let's get uh, four more redstone torches. One, two, four, four. So now we can make a crafting level two, right? Uh, except I only have one of you. Because I don't have enough crafting benches, that's what it is. So let's get, uh, get two more crafting benches. Yeah. Level two. That's cool. So that gives us those level twos. And now level threes are each of those. So we need four more four more torches and four more crafting benches. All right. One, two, three, four. Three, four crafting benches. Yeah. And we need four torches. Four. Cool. I need, oh, that's level, yeah. There go. There's that. Sweet. Okay, so now we've got those. We got those crafters, um, and I figure we don't need all of these. So let's get rid of these two. Yeah, let's get rid of those two, and we'll put your we'll put the crafters maybe say here, right? Yeah. So this has eight recipes. This one has eight recipes. I'll have to get power over here. So let me work on that. And we also are going to have to set this up so that the the processes one run run one right after the other. And you know what? You know what? This is actually we're actually going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to get a couple of uh, I'm going to get a couple input chests so that we can put the stuff in to make all the stuff, and uh, and then uh, and get an output probably an output um, probably an output uh, drawer for the for the lunch to go into. So let me do a couple of things off camera and I'll come back to you ASAP. Okay, so I'm making up some more conduits because we got to get power to this thing, right? Um, but I've, I've been working away trying to figure out the patterns that I need to use for this, and I think I've got it. So these are all the things that this that we have to make, right? We have to make grape juice, and we have to have grape juice to make vinegar. So grape juice, uh, if you double click on this, grape juice is just two grapes and a juicer, right? And then the vinegar is the grape juice in a pot, right? And then you use those 
to make a sweet pickle. Use the vinegar and a cucumber and some sugar. Sugar will have to get from a sugarcane farm. Obviously, that's... Ooh, I should have automated that as well. I could still. Um, but anyway, you have to make that before you can uh, before you can make anything else. Um, and then you got to have salt, and salt is just a bucket of water in a pot. And then you got to have cheese. So you got to have salt and milk in a pot, right? And you also have to have a boiled egg, right? Some of these items are set to go to the output, except for the crafting item. So like the pot would stay here, but the boiled egg would go out. Same thing with the cheese. The pot would stay here, but the cheese would go out. Same thing with the sweet pickle. The pot would stay, but the, the pickle would, would go out. And what we're going to do is we're going to use item conduits back here so that uh, all of the stuff gets output, gets extracted on green, and green should go to here. Nope, green does not go to here. That goes brown. This is extract on green. This is extract on green. I think we want to set this for purple. That one's brown. And this one is extract on brown, insert on blue. This should be, yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll extract on blue. Extract on blue. Wait, that's insert on blue. Ah, no, don't insert on blue. Or do I want to insert on blue? I want to insert on blue there. I want to insert on blue there. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to insert on brown. Yeah, so this one's going to extract on blue as well. Because the stuff that's coming out of here is going to want to go to here, right? Because this is the other this is the other crafter, and so everything will get input into here that it gets made. So the cheese and the sweet pickle and the boiled egg will come from here. Everything else is going to come from this chest, right? So we're going to put all of the stuff into this chest, including the buckets of water and all that good stuff. And it should only end up in the places where it can where the inventory will accept it. So this is going to insert on blue. This one's going to insert on brown. Uh, it will not extract yeah we don't want it to extract so this is going to insert on again this is going to insert on blue so this one should extract on blue and it should also we'll say it's going to insert on purple uh no it's going to have to insert on blue because we can't set this other one up to, to export on multiple colors so this one will extract on blue right so that should pull all of the items out of here so if i tell this that uh, if, I, if I take this out of here, notice I've got it set to remember that that's sugar, and I put the sugar in here and tell this to turn on. Uh, set it for always active. That sugar should have left, and it should have gone here. Yes, it did. Did I set all of these for always active? This one here, never active. Uh-oh. Always active, that one's done. This one here doesn't matter. So now if I take the items out of here, like if I take the cucumbers and put them over here, right? Cucumbers should go in there. But since bread only goes over here, if I take the bread out and put it in over here. So some of this stuff I'll still have to make, but bread should now be going in. Yeah, bread's going in here. Cool. So I think we're ready to set this recipe up now. So this recipe here, this is the only recipe that we have. So it's going to be the cutting board and it's going to be bread. And it's going to be apple, cheese, sweet pickle, onion, pork chop, boiled egg, right? And that will make us our plowman's lunch. So we want to use up, we want to keep one item. I want to make sure that there's always one item in here. We want our output to go to the external storage, which is here. And then once the ex external storage happens, it'll go over here to the... Uh, to the uh, to the storage drawer, right? So let's apply that, and I think I think we're ready to give this thing power. Um, we're gonna need to get a couple of buckets of stuff. So I've got two buckets here. Let's go get a bucket of water and a bucket of milk. Bucket of water. Go get a cow. Get a bucket of milk. What we're gonna have to do is we're probably gonna have to set up some kind of rancher or something to get to get cow fluids. There we go. Cow fluids. So the rancher would be able to give us buckets of milk and then it would be, then we could take the buckets back out and get them to go back and get more milk, right? But, uh, so now this, ooh. Uh, that, okay, so that's fine. So if I put these in here, they shouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, those won't go anywhere until these get used. 
Okay, so that's fine. Um, we've got plenty of grapes to make grape juice. We've got plenty of cucumbers. We do need some more sugar, but we should be fine. I think we're ready to put power to this thing. So let's do this. Uh, let's go you there. There. You there. There. Oh, I don't need power there. Whoopsie. That does not need power. Don't need power to the chest. Not not a, not a necessity. So then we should be able to come in here like this. And that should... I think that's going to be okay. Come up there. Come up here. Come up here. And there. Doesn't have power. Uh... Why you no have power? Why you no have power? Is there something funny about the power? No, it's insert and extract. Uh, because there's no connection. Ha ha, there's a connection now. I got it. So that's got power? Yeah, buddy, we're making power now. So is it going to make grape juice? Redstone ignored, slow speed. I just, I want to check and see how this thing's going to work, you know. It should work its way through all of these, I'm hoping. I'm very much hoping. So it should do, should do all this, yes? Apparently not. It's not going to work. It's not going to do it. Why is it not doing it? Make grape juice. You need the juicer. And you need the grapes. We have that. Yeah. And all of these items should stack. Oh, wait a second. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. So now apply that. There we go. So it just made that. That's cool. All right, so vinegar, we want it to, again, we want it to use all. Uh, vinegar. Use all. Apply. Cool. I like it. Sweet pickle. Use all the items. That's where I made my mistake. I made it so that it would always keep one item, and since it was trying to keep one item, it was trying to keep the juicer, and it wouldn't, and so it wouldn't run. That's what did it. So we want to use all, apply. Pickles just went out. Pickles should be over here. Yes, they are. Sweet. So now we're going to do this. We're going to make salt. We're going to use all of the items. When I do this, this bucket should disappear, but another one should come in in its place because we got the one in the chest. So, apply. Did we apply it? Oh, there's no place for the salt to go. I see. Let's do this. Let's make salt. Oh, I need sugar. And I need grape juice. All right, give me just a minute. Okay, I think that's better now. I think that's better. I had to have a place for salt to go because of, because salt was supposed to remain internal because it's used in another recipe. It's used in the cheese recipe, right? So it had to go to internal, and I didn't have a spot for it. So I had to make that up. But uh, but now, if we take and put more of those grapes in there, those went those went into our system. Put the cucumbers in there. Those should go into our system. Yeah, we got grapes. We got cucumbers. We got milk. Uh, this needs to go in here. This needs to get a water bucket. I don't know why I went over there and got a water bucket, because I didn't have to. That should give me that. You should stay there. So you should be ready. I've got this set for um, on to activate. I don't. I want to turn it off here in just a second. But everything should be good here now. Um, Plowman's lunch. Should set that for keep. Now we we want to use it all because that should be fine. 
yeah, that should be fine. I think. Oh, uh, except for crafting items. So that way this stays in here too. So we'll apply that. Oh dear. Whoops. Ah, I just I just erased everything. No. Just erased everything. So now I got to put it back in. Darn it. That was really, whoops. That was really dumb. So now that should be everything. Apply, cool. This should, this should make a plowman's lunch, shouldn't it? It did, and it put it over here, sweet. Now, it doesn't have cheese, so if we set this thing up to go ahead and run, this should make cheese, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Can we do that? Can we set you to run? Made a pickle. Is it going to make the cheese? Doesn't seem to be making cheese. Why is it not making cheese? Oh, because it needs that. Okay, so hold on. Change that. Let's go here. I see what happened. It's using the, the soy milk, and I don't have soy milk in it. I just have regular milk. So let's go ahead and do, go ahead and make that go to... Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, we're good. Let's change that. That. That should do it, right? Uh, uh, keep one of item? No, I don't want to keep one item. I don't need to keep any items. Apply it. So now it should be able to make cheese, right? Go ahead and run. Can it not make cheese? Want it to use all of the items, right? All except crafting items, yeah. Does it not have salt? I'm a little bit of I'm a little bit of, a little bit uncertain of what's going on here. So to make cheese, it needs that, plus that, plus that. And it has one of those, plus one of those, plus one of those. Okay. Why you no make? Why you no make it a cheese? Hmm. Give me just a minute. Okay. I think I figured it out. What happened was... You see, what had happened was there what the salt recipe as well as the cheese recipe... There's a byproduct of a bucket, and there was no place for that bucket to go. So I had to set those up as external, and then I had to set it up so that the buckets would actually come back to this chest so that I could reuse them. Um, and so now, if I put these buckets of milk in here, watch what happens. We should, ah, we just got another plowman's lunch. If I put this in here, should get another plowman's lunch. There it goes. So what's happening is, is that the water in the milk buckets are coming in here. They're crafting all of this stuff. We're getting all of this stuff done. And then all of this is coming over here. So you see right now, the only thing we're missing is cheese. We still have two sweet pickles. We still have this. So I can actually make two more lunches. So if I do that like that, we're going to get one, two, three, not. Oh, it's, uh, no, we won't get another one because we don't have the stuff that we need to make uh, to make all the cheese. The cheese needs salt, and so we're out of salt uh, because we don't have any more water. So that'll be the next thing that we're going to have to do is automate the water and the milk. I got some ideas on that, but if you guys have some ideas on, on what we can do to make that happen, by all means, leave them down in the comments below and we'll chat about it. But folks, I think that's going to do it for today because sadly, we are out of time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will chat about it in kind. <clears throat> Excuse me, hoarse throat. Also, don't forget to stop by our Discord server. The link for that will also be down in the description, and we uh, we talk about all, all kinds of things, all things Minecraft, all things um, YouTube, all things just... Uh, yeah, just gaming in general. Uh, and I want to thank each and every one of you for, for being a part of this. I want to thank you all for, for helping the channel grow and, thri and thrive and survive. I also want to thank my YouTube sponsors and my Patreon supporters. You guys rock. Uh, they, they help make the channel flow because they make a monetary donation to the channel. 
uh, on a monthly basis. If you would like to see your name on this list, then by all means, go to the link in the comment section below or in the description below and find out how to become a YouTube sponsor or a Patreon patron. But once again, folks, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, we will see you. We will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.